so the, uh, the sketch builds on itself. Here's another. In this video, I'd like to uh, discuss the two hand plane cabinets you can see in the uh, in the images. The, uh, they're enclosed and they're fairly large or substantial in size at 6 inches deep by 30 inches high by 24 inches wide. Uh, the reason I've enclosed them is to keep dirt and dust and moisture away from the hemp planes to avoid rust. You can see that they, uh, they're sitting over the, my principal workbench and I, so I can access the, my tools, my hemp planes uh, from all four sides of the workbench. Uh, it's very convenient to, uh, to have it located in that, uh, in that location. The, uh, the, uh, the build was fairly straightforward with a frame and panel door. The depth at six inches allows a large number of uh, different hand planes to be housed uh, on their side, as you can see. And what I did is I created custom cubby holes or compartments for each of the hand planes using some, again, leftover wood from that uh, bed frame I referred to earlier. Uh, so this worked out quite well, so I had to actually build it up inter in internally. You can consider this uh, a box within a box or a frame within a box. So each of the, uh, the cabinets uh, had customized compartments for hand planes, although I can interchange some of them. So this, uh, this was a little more labor intensive than I originally anticipated, but it, it was well worth it at the end to be able to do this. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's, it's a quite quite a successful design and I've been using this for several years now so whenever I'm working at the workbench I open the swing the doors open and uh, I'm able to work and next I'll actually discuss what each of the uh, hand planes uh, cabinets contents so the left cabinet at the very top is a uh, the Vertas jack plane low angle of 14 inch it's intermediate and I use this quite often below that is a Vertas uh, scrub plane I use this to prepare wood uh, diagonally, so to quickly uh, remove uh, rough, uh, pre prepare rough wood. Below that is a Veritas five and a quarter inch W uh, bench plane. It's uh, considered a small jack plane at 12 inches long. Use this quite often. Below that is a Stanley low angle block plane. I use my first bla block plane. I don't use it quite, quite often anymore. I have a Lee Nielsen and a Veritas. They're a little more polished and uh, better machine. To the right is a Record 078 Rabbit plane I don't use much. Uh, below is a Lee Nielsen Cabinet Maker's uh, Scraper plane, which I use to uh, prepare wood. It's much quicker and uh, better than uh, using a card scraper oftentimes. To the right is a Lee Nielsen 4.5 Smoother at a 50 degree uh, angle. I use this quite often, my go-to plane. Below that are uh, Record number 3 Smoother. And to the right is a record number four smoother. The record number three is nine inch and the uh, number four is a 10 inch long. These are planes that I've rehabbed, restored, and I use them occasionally, but not as often as the, uh, as the Lee Nielsen four and a half above. So the right, ha right hand cabinet at the very top is a shop made four plane at 17 inches long. It's considered a small jointer. Below is a Veritas number six four plane at 18 inches, also used as a shooting board plane. Below is a vintage 9-inch number 3 smoother. To the right is a uh, Lee Nielsen uh, chisel plane used occasionally. Below that is a uh, Lee Nielsen number 4 a smoother 50-degree pitch. I use this very, very, very often. To the right is a uh, standard angle Lee Nielsen block plane, my, one of my go-to block planes. Below is a uh, Lee Nielsen low angle block plane, another one of my go-to block planes. To the right is a skew block pl plane with a fence occasionally used to create rabbits. Below that are a transitional coffin smoother. To the right is a uh, Lee Nielsen block standard angle, 45 degree pitch. And uh, below that, a European smoother with a horn at eight and a half inches. To the right is a vintage transitional coffin smoother. And at the very bottom, a uh, Veritas small shoulder plane, a small level and uh, Lee Nielsen set of curved and flat spoke shaves which I use quite often in my work on uh, curved and flat surfaces to quickly remove uh, wood from uh, as I'm preparing the, uh, the curved or flat edges. Mm -hmm.